Welcome to Godcast. It's not a broadcast, it's not a podcast, it's about God, it's a Godcast. I just read a chapter a day, in order, all the way through the New Testament, and every day, next chapter. Today, kicking it off, John chapter 1, from the New American Standard Translation, which I use, and you can get a Bible app called Literal Word, and it's the New American Standard, which is the closest you can get to the original scrolls and tablets. That's all I care about. I don't need anybody to flower stuff up for me or some dude to make it sound a little less harsh. No, I want to know what the original scrolls and tablets, how, how it actually read. As close as you can get to those is the New American Standard. Uh, close second would be the um, New King James. New King James. Literal Word is the name of that app. So, uh, let's go to the Father before we do anything else. Abba Father, thank you for this opportunity. Please let this reach the ears and the eyes and the minds and the hearts of the people that you want to see with you. Let this word be a great seed to plant and let it fall on good soil. Holy Father, please forgive us for our sins. And we forgive those who have sinned against us. And give us wisdom, discernment, understanding, and revelation, my Lord. We have not because we ask not, is what you said. So I'm asking for all of us. Wisdom, discernment, understanding, and revelation. Thank you, Holy God. In your name, King Yeshua, Christ Jesus. Amen and amen. Awesome. Here we go. These are extremely important words. Kicking off John 1. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him. And apart from Him, nothing came into being that has come into being. In Him was life. And the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Um, there's a lot of debate about Jesus, whether he's, um, especially with the, well, my mom is uh, in a, unfortunately, um, and what I think is a very dangerous cult. Um, I'm not, I, I don't want to run her down. Uh, I do believe that, uh, in many ways they have things right on track, but there are a couple that they're so way far off track that it, it's like, I can't even call it anything other than a cult. And one of the things is Jesus was not God. There is no such thing as Trinity. Well, there they're right. In the Bible, there's no such word as Trinity. That was a Catholic thing. Um, so, is is uh, is Jesus God? Is it? Are they three in one? Holy Spirit, God, Jesus. Uh, are they are they one being with separate uh, three different entities? Uh, or is it, uh, as as the religion my mom practices, they believe that he's just an angel that got a promotion. Um, you know what I say? I'm going to take it all on faith. It's not for me to fully understand unless, unless the Lord wants to reveal it to me. But I'm not going to let that stop me from worshiping him and his son and thanking him and praising him and asking him for his Holy Spirit. I'm not going to stop. Just because I get, oh, this just doesn't make any sense to me. This is too confusing. I got Stop trying to explain stuff. Paul, as we'll find out later on in the New Testament, Paul gets to a point to where he goes, stop sweating the small stuff. I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically it. Knock it off. Stop arguing about such ridiculous things and just know that Christ Jesus, Son of God, died for us, was resurrected three days later, and through him we have communion. We have salvation again with the Lord the way he originally intended it to be, and one day it will be again. 
when Jesus comes back. That's awesome. That's all I need to know. I'm not gonna... In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and apart from Him, nothing came into being that has come into being. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Verse 6, there came a man sent from God whose name was John, John the Baptist. He came as a witness to testify about the light, capital L, light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify about the light. There was the true light which, coming into the world, enlightens every man. He was in the world and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, to his own, Jewish people, and his own did not receive him. He came to his own, and those who were his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name who were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and he saw his glory, and glory as of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified about him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me has a higher rank than I, for he existed before me. For of his fullness we have all received, and grace upon grace. For of his fullness we have all received, and grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth were realized through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten God who is in the bosom of the Father... He has explained him. Now, what do you make out of that verse? Is he God? Is he part of God? Is he, are they three separate entities all wrapped into one? Verse 18, no one has seen God at any time. The only begotten God, capital G, the only begotten God who is in the bosom of the Father, he has explained him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. See, right? I'm not even going to sweat it. That's fine. All I know is my salvation and my redemption comes through Christ Jesus. Yeshua. Christ Yeshua. That's the actual Hebrew pronunciation of Jesus. Yeshua. This is uh, 19, verse 19. This is the testimony of John when the Jews sent to him priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? And he confessed and did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. Talking to John the Baptist, they were. They asked him, what then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you a prophet? He answered, no. Then they said to him, who are you so that we may give an answer to those who sent us? What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, now they had been sent from the Pharisees, and they asked him, they asked him and said to him, Why then are you baptizing if you are not the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, saying, I baptize in water, but among you stands one whom you do not know. It is he who comes after me, the thong of whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. These things took place in Bethany, beyond the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The next day he saw Jesus coming to him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he, on behalf of whom I said, After me comes a man who has a higher rank than I, for he existed before me. I did not recognize him. But so that he might be manifested to Israel, I came baptizing in water. John testified, saying, I have seen the Holy Spirit. I have seen the Spirit descending as a dove out of heaven, and he remained upon him. I did not recognize him. But he who sent me to baptize in water said to me, He upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining upon him, 
This is the one who baptizes in the Holy Spirit. I myself have seen and have testified that this is the Son of God. Again the next day, John was standing with two of his disciples, and he looked at Jesus as he walked and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following and said to them, What do you seek? And they said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they came and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who John heard speak, or who heard John speak and followed him, was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He uh, found first his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which translated means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You should be called Cephas, which translated means Peter. The next day he proposed to go into Galilee and he found Philip and Jesus said to him, follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida of the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him of whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? <laughs> Philip said, to him, come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Because I said to you that I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see the heavens opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Tomorrow, Lord willing, do it again. Chapter 2 of John, right here on Godcast. See you later. Oh, I suggest you go back and read this for yourself, by the way. It helps you remember it. See ya.